Southern Spain has always been very attractive to foreigners to buy a property. In today's video, I want to compare properties in Marbella to the ones in Malibu, Los Angeles, and see which is a better investment for you. But first, why Marbella? Besides the obvious reasons of beautiful nature, warm seawater, a microclimate, year-long beautiful weather, great restaurants, a lot of activities. There are a few additional points that can help you make that choice. After everyone being locked in their houses in 2020, there has been an increase in Spain, not only to remote workers, but also people who re-evaluated their living experience after this lockdown. More and more people are looking into more open and green spaces, fast internet, and of course, great weather. So therefore, Malaga and Marbella have been an attractive spot for digital nomads. Unfortunately, on the other hand, LA has an increased rate of people moving out of the city due to severe drop in quality of life, an ongoing homelessness issues, and also prices going up. There are already so many people that moved into Texas and Florida. And according to the Institute for Urban Research in Houston, Texas, the home prices are a big driver for that. In 2019, the median house price in California hit a new record, which is almost half a million more than the national average. People can't pay their taxes and they're looking for better prices, better properties and lower taxes in other states. But I'm hearing about more and more Americans looking to leave the country. So today uh, we're going to look into some properties in Marbella and just to get a feel if it's worth as an American to invest here just as a rental property or vacation property and this is the first apartment we're going to walk through. It's a 125 I believe and it costs 565,000 euros and I'm going to show you what that gets you. Okay, we're walking into the living room so much light everywhere you just press the good news is as a foreigner you're allowed to buy a property in spain however you should pay the full value of the house so the properties that i'll be comparing are only after the full value is being paid so there won't be any mortgage comparison also, buying a property in Spain for over 500,000 euro gives you an option to get golden visa. And I'm not going to go into details what that is specifically, but just to give you a couple benefits, if you're a non-European national, this is an option for you and your family to have a right to reside, live and work in Spain and eventually even get permanent residency if you wish so. As a member of the European Union and the Schengen area, Spain grants you a visa-free travel to many of the countries that are part of this area so you can go pretty much anywhere in Europe without worrying about the 90 days travel regulations. Now there is a tax at the time of purchase when you're buying a house in Spain and this tax can vary from region to region however in Andalusia where Marbella is the local government has lowered the tax to 7% to attract even more investors. Next best thing is that one of these apartments that I've shown you can rent for about $3,500 to $4,000 per week in high season. And they're occupied about 40 to 60% of the year. The high months are of course June, July, August, and sometimes even September because the water is very warm. And when it's out of season, it is about same price, but per month. So 3,500 to 4,000 
per month. People come there also for New Year's and Christmas. The only dead months are January, February. Then everything picks up again because golf season comes up. There are a lot of golf courses in the region. People come there in, in March, in April, then there are Easter vacations. So the place is pretty occupied. That's why I'm saying that it's a great return of investment. I'm going to show you what you can get in LA, in Malibu, because this is the comparative place with this type of views in LA. I'll show you. California is one of the highest places in the States regarding property taxes, but still these money are forever gone. And even if you have somebody helping you pay your mortgage and have a relatively okay ROI, still the yearly property taxes are forever gone, money you never get. Even though the house can increase in value in a few years, everything else increases in value. Your lifestyle expenses, everything goes up and it seems like the price of the house is up, but it's really, it's not. And here, the yearly property taxes are pretty much non-existent. They're, listen to this, from 0.004% to 0.01%. They vary from region to region, but they're really minimal. And how they calculate it, they base it, of course, on the, on the value of the property, the full value of the property, but, let's say your value is 500,000 euro, they don't take that number. They actually lower it 20%. That's why nobody talks about that. Now, they do have some additional fees that they pay throughout the year, but they're also very minimal. Like for example, the trash services, the, the trash that they take outside is, I think it's about 250 to 300 euro per year. And also they have some similar to the HOA fees, which are between 85 to 200 euros per month. Really luxury properties, they have pools, they have gym, they have every facilities they're really taken care of. So uh, they're justified and they're not just for, for your house being there. And to conclude, you have to decide what you want. Are you buying a property for yourself? Are you looking into an investment property for short term or long term rentals? Because this will determine mostly the region you're going to purchase the property in. And Nueva Andalusia it's perfect if you're buying a property for investment because the return of investment it's tremendous but I will let you do your own research this is just my opinion I'm not a financial advisor but I found some places in Marbella and when I compared them to LA the difference it's really amazing points for Marbella and that's the sea right there the beautiful sunset here I hope you like my video I'll see you in my next one ciao